Hello everybody. Today I'm going to present the problem Walker matrix from the code for this round 630 division 2. Basically, we are given a game where uh, we have to start from 1 1 and we have to end on NM. And at each step, our player can move either right or down as long as the player doesn't leave the matrix. The total score the player gets is the bitwise end of all the values on his path. And uh, Bob is going to use DP in order to solve the problem. The DP algorithm, as you can see, seems correct, but it is quite easily to observe that uh, the DP algorithm is actually not good. And it is, it is also stated in the statement of the problem. So we need to find uh, a matrix of size n times m such that the numbers are up to 300,000 and the dimensions are up to 500. And the maximum score you can get is uh, bigger than the output of its algorithm by k. And we need to print out such a matrix. One of the common ideas about constructive problems is that we need to use several different approaches in order to solve the problem. One of those approaches would be, let's say, to implement a brute force algorithm and like print out all the solutions, all the small solutions, and see if there is some magic property which occurs to us and hopefully this can be generalized. Another approach one can use for solving such a problem is uh, reading the statement in order to hopefully find uh, information uh, related to the concepts of the problem. Like here uh, you can observe that we have the bitwise end operation. You know that for a set of numbers, the bitwise end operation will return, let's say, two at some position, only if and only if all the numbers have the bit at that position set, basically equal to one. So I'm going to show in the following sketchpad uh, an approach which helps us to solve the problem using this observation. So. We can observe that the maximum number is quite big, up to 300,000, but the maximum k is quite small and way smaller than the upper bound. Let's have a look at the dp algorithm. We have a maximum between dp of i minus 1j and a of ij, and the dp of ij minus 1 and a of ij. Since dp of nm is always smaller or equal than the optimal answer, it can be proved quite easily that it's not the other way around because if it was the other way around, then the dp of nm would have been bigger than the optimal answer and thus become the optimal answer, which is false. We also know that 2 at i is bigger than the sum of 2 at powers of 2 smaller than i, like 2 at 0, 2 at 1, up to 2 at i minus 1. So we can generate a matrix for which the real answer is k, but the answer from dp is 0. Now let's move on to the next table of contents, where I'm going to present the actual solution. So we know that the real answer is k, and we are going to generate a matrix such that the dp answer will be 0. In order to achieve this, I'm going to use a big power of 2, but not too big in order to uh, fit in the constraint of number. I'm going to use 2 at 17 because 2 at 17 plus k is smaller than 300,000. Here is the proof. 2 at 17 is some 131,000. And it is also bigger than uh, the maximum value of k. Why does this help us? Be this helps us because we won't have uh, overlappings in the bitwise end 
and also in the additions. So we can basically exclude uh, the bits as we want. Now I'm going to show how the solution will actually look like, and I'm going to explain why it works. So this matrix is quite small, two lines and three columns. And we're going to start on position 1, 1 with k plus 2 at 17. Why this number? Because we can split it in two, as you can see on 1, 2, and 2, 1. And we are going to use this in our advantage. As you can see, the real answer is k, because we have k in all of these places. But the dp answer will return 0. In order to check this, you can either uh, add these numbers in some editor, write the dp algorithm, and actually check by yourself that the number will always be 0. Or you can look at the following observation. Uh, the values of the dp at 1, 2, and 2, 1 will be equal to the numbers at positions 1, 2, respectively 2, 1. And we are going, when we are going to move to the 2, 2, you can observe that according to the recurrence stated in the problem, the dp value at 2, 2 will be 2 at 17 because it's bigger than k, and 2 at 17 is present in all of these positions. But when we go to the position 2, 3, the value is once again k. But as we stated before, 2 at 17 is bigger than k. And since 2 at 17 is the power of 2, their bitwise end will be 0. And thus, our dp value will be 0, because we added here a 0, just to be sure. And the real answer is k because we have k in all these places. Now let's move on to the implementation. The implementation, as you can see, it's quite easy and it involves just reading the input and printing the matrix. The matrix will have two lines and three columns. The elements are exactly as described in the catchpad except one, uh, 2 at 17 and k are swapped in position, but this doesn't matter because it will lead us to the same thing. And this algorithm will get accepted. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you like the content, please like it, subscribe, and also join the Discord server in order to have more discussions. Until the next time, stay healthy, Good luck and goodbye.